we're going to get started running through the documentation on how to set up Hera. And I've got a lot of tabs here to work through. OK, so we are in the Met Plus setup here. And I will scroll down to the bottom. And I'm going to keep scrolling through this generic information so that we can get to the setup on Hera. So this is about on the third page. It talks about the prerequisites. Um, which um, we don't have to worry about for the pre-configured environment here in Hera. So I'll click on Setup of Hera, and I'll post this in the chat as well so that you can follow along if you'd like. I, I already put links oh. for Hera and, and Jet instructions in the Perfect. chat. Perfect. Thank you so much, George. I appreciate that. Of course. OK. OK, so we're going to follow along here. Um, the first thing we need to do is create a directory called metplus 4.0.0 tutorial. So I have a working area on Hera, and I'm going to go ahead and copy. And oh, I see, actually, these instructions are, are very nice here. It, it indicates that we should change the location where we want to put our tutorial files and then create this directory. And since the command is easily accessible, I will just go ahead and do that. It'd be great if you all um, have an area and could follow along with me. Uh, so there's my working area, as you can see. And I'm going to go ahead and make this Met Plus tutorial. The next command is to cd into that directory. So I will do that now. And then we need to create directories for configuration files and output data. And again, it's uh, nice and easy to copy and paste. And can everyone see the terminal OK? Is, is, is it visible to everyone, not too small? Speak yeah. Up. OK, yeah, speak up if there are any problems throughout. Just let me know. OK, so now we need to obtain the tutorial setup script. And so uh, this should work with your shell that you're using and it will it will get the shell from here so you don't have to worry about copying a separate script we're going to take this and take both commands copy the config file and the script that we need and i can see those are now in my directory along with the directories that i created and now we need to verify that the environment is set up correctly so we'll go ahead and click on that link and we're already in the directory that we want and it shows now that we need to source that script, that setup script that we copied over. So I will go ahead and do that now. All right, so now theoretically the environment should be set up correctly. And if it is, I should be able to run this which meant plus command and find that that command is easily accessible to me. And there it is. Um, Excuse me, can you slow down a bit? Uh, we're trying to uh, catch up on all these things. They were trying to find out where it is and still see it on your screen as well, as well as on the web page, which is somewhere else. So Good point, Perry. My apologies. Yes, I, I know we have a limited time, so my, that's why I was rushing through. But um, I understand that that's not necessarily. Uh, OK, so go back to our, what we need to source, because we're way behind, way behind on that deck. You bet. No problem. So we had just copied over a tutorial script and a configuration file. And now we are at the section where we want to environment verify that our environment is set up correctly. And so um, we made sure that we're in the tutorial directory that we just created. And we want to run uh, source on this script here. I guess this this actually, George, is it correct that this could actually be TCSH or CSH, depending on what the shell was? No, so the copy command will rename the file. So that ah. file should be the same name, regardless of the environment that you're setting up. Perfect. Thank you so much. OK, so yes, yeah, so you should be able to just copy and paste the source command and, and run that command to set up the environment for you. It looks like Mallory has a question. Yeah, so in that um, script that we're sourcing, the Met Plus 4.0.0 tutorial setup, um, it's setting those environment var variables, but is it also loading the needed modules that um, we need for Met and Met Plus? Yes, good question. So if we look at the script here, we can see that um, we are running module use in this area, which loads the Met Plus module. And so that loads Met and Met Plus, um, which is needed for the tutorial. And then it additionally sets all of these uh, variables in our environment so that they're accessible to us. Uh, it sets up the Met Plus build base, uh, the tutorial directory first, the Met Plus build base, and the met build base, and then the met plus data, where we point to the uh, input sample data needed to run through the tutorial. I'll make a quick note here. Um, so the met plus tutorial is automatically set to the directory where you put this script file. 
Um, so it automatically knows where where your directory is if you have that file in the in that location. So it's important that you do copy that file over and not try to use it from the original directory. And then these other environment variables, they are used in the tutorial specifically. They're not specific or they're not um, keywords that are used by Met or Met Plus um, natively. They're just used in the in the tutorial instructions to get everything set up and run. And one important thing to mention too is that um, when you source the script, that is something that you'll need to do each time you come back to to work on the tutorial. So right now it's set up, but it's just for this one shell for this one session. So if you should close the shell uh, when you open up a new one to get working on the tutorial again, you'll want to come back and and source the script again so that everything is set up. So I wanted to mention that as well. All right, is everyone okay to continue to check to see that uh, the environment is set up correctly? Uh, so Alicia has a, a message oh, here. Thank um, you. So my guess what's happening here is that you have some um, some things set up in your environment before this was run, um, likely when you logged in or something. Um, and this actually just came up just before the, this meeting and, and another from another user. Um, so I think that we need to deactivate or unload the existing modules before these module load commands. So, I'm, I'm not terribly familiar with module. So she commands. could run a module purge to clear purge. her environment, and then she could um, try rerunning it. OK. Thank you. You're welcome. So that's that's an oversight on, on my part that we probably should have put that in those tutorial setup scripts so that it, it will clear out any environment that you have existing. So if you are getting that area um, error, then I would recommend um, modifying that script to um, to purge all of the existing modules you have loaded before anything else is run. That's right. Thank you. And so the command is just module space purge. Is that correct? That's correct. Yes. Yes. I my environment was clean. I didn't have any loaded, oh, so I, I didn't anticipate <laughs> that I being an issue. Purge. P U R G. Right. Okay. So now that I have run the source script, hopefully others have successfully, um, I want to make sure that um, the environment is set up correctly. Let me just clear the screen there. So if I run WitchMet Plus, I see uh, that it points to the location I'm expecting. We'll speak up if you're having any trouble. Um, then the next command we want to run is point stat to verify that the MET tools have also been loaded as expected. So we should expect to get the usage statement here, which we do. So far, so good. Now we're going to, um, this is the directory here that we've created to store our tutorial files, the Met Plus tutorial there. So we'll take a look and make sure that that is set up as we expect, and, and it is. And we also want to go ahead and take a look in that directory and see if what we expect is there. So running through the next command, we, we see that that is what we saw before. The, it's the shell script that we copied over, the output directory that we created, the tutorial.conf file that we copied over, and the user config directory that we created as well. And as you can see here, these are the, that is the expected output. Um, so now we want to also echo the environment variables that were set up. Uh, one of those was um, met build base, and we can see that that is as we expected. We'll take a quick look there to make sure it has what we want in it. And in fact, it does. You can see um, we've got the bin and the share directory, along with some other um, files that were there when, when it was installed. But at least the bin and share directories are there, and it's what is needed to run the tutorial. Um, let's see uh, here. If, Julie, there's been a yes. request to slow down a little bit. Thank you. Thank you, George. Appreciate that. OK, so I'll just take a minute here. Um, again, as I mentioned, uh, the bin and share directories are what we expected. Um, if anyone is, is having trouble with their environment, also now would be a good time to let us know if you're not seeing the things that you expect. Otherwise, I will just take a moment here and let people get caught up. And again, my apologies for going too fast.
All right. Is it is everyone comfortable with proceeding at this time? Yes. All right. I see a few yeses. Thank you. Okay. And so next we're going to look at the contents of the med uh, build based bin directory. So this would be the location of the met tools that we would expect to see. And uh, I do see those ASCII, starting with ASCII to NC through the list of all the met tools that were installed at this location. And those are also listed here for comparison. Next, we're going to echo the met plus build base and make sure that met plus is accessible to us and it's in the location we expect with an example value there. We want to make sure that everything we expect to see in the met plus build base is there as well. So copying that command, we do see uh, the environment that we expect here. We've got all the subdirectories of, of met plus listed here. And some of those we will look at momentarily. And we need to make sure that the data we want to run on also exists. So we'll go ahead and copy uh, the command there um, and make sure that we have a location here for the sample data, which we do. And we just want to make sure that that sample data is populated. So we would expect to see two subdirectories here the met test subdirectory and the model application subdirectory, which are right there. So we can see um, in this case that the environment is, is set up as we would expect. I'm going to go on to the next section here, which is the um, directory structure. Um, as I mentioned, we were going to take a look at some of the subdirectories of MetPlus. And first, we'll just take a look in the PARM directory and we'll go over what is in there. So um, as it describes here, um, there are met plus uh, default configuration files in this directory. And so first, if we, if we look there, um, so we're in the parm directory under met plus config, and we can see that there's a default configuration file as described here. And so, um, Basically, this is the configuration file uh, that is the default file for MED. And let's just take a quick look at it. Oops. Keep on that. <laughs> Apologies. Let's. Uh... Those. Okay, so taking a look at this default configuration file, we can see that some important information is set up. Um, we have the MET installer, which is set up right here, and that points to the where the where MET is installed and where the tools exist that we need. And MET Binder is set up to to point to the location of those executables. On some machines, it may not be bin, but rather exec, like on WCOS. Um, but on Hera, it is bin and it's it's set up correctly. Um, then we also have here uh, the input base, and this is what points to our sample data. And right now, output base is set to path two. We would need to change that, but I'm going to leave that there to demonstrate a, a case here momentarily. So uh, path two is clearly not an, an accurate, um, valid path, and so we'll need to change that at some point. Um, but we're not going to change that here. Um, and so this this file is for um, a uh, an installation on. Uh, a, a generic installation for folks that are sharing this. So one one exists here, and we can override these values in a different file later, which we'll talk about in just a minute. And so we've got the output base and the met plus final config file. And this file is where you'd see the result of all the um, configuration file processing. And it's it's very helpful when troubleshooting. So you'd find that in your own individual output base file. And we, if you write to discussions for any help, we'd often ask you for that file so we could take a look at the environment and see what's going on. We've got a temporary directory here and a staging directory. You don't have to worry too much about those, and those are already set up for you. Um, and then we've got paths to some of the um, uh, runtime configuration variables here, which I won't go into too much detail for this setup. Moving along here, um, we can see we were just looking in the um, met plus config directory 
I need to change that back to ls. And we also have the MET config directory, and these are where some default files are, wrapper files are stored for, for the MET tools. So these would be files that the, the MET tools would read. And then we have um, the MET tool wrapper use cases directory. Let me pull that up. Oops. I already copied that. And so here, um, as you can see in the tutorial, these these are described. Um, they're broken up into subdirectories by wrapper, in this case, example, or grid stats. And um, let's see. So the, I, oh, and as we already went over, the um, metal wrapper use cases are found in, in met config here, which we just looked at. Sorry about that. I didn't realize that was duplicating information. We're going to now look in the model applications directory. And these are certain applications that are already set up um, for different types. You can see air quality and comp, climate, convection allowing models, cryosphere, et cetera. Um, some examples listed here are for data, list, data assimilation. So there are specific use cases set up for these sorts of um, applications. And here, let's see, this is an example config file. We mentioned earlier, and we will just take a look at that. And this shows um, an example use case where there's certain variables to find a process list, loop by, valid time, uh, format, valid begin, valid end. And so we're not going to get into all that detail, but you can see that this is what an example met plus um, use case file would look like. Moving on to the configuration settings, I, I do see we have um, two minutes left here. I'm I'm happy to stay and, and continue going through this since we didn't quite finish. I want to be mindful of people's times, though. Obviously, if you have to leave, you're welcome to do so. This is being recorded, so you could um, come back to follow as well. Um, so we are right here. We're going to modify the tutorial and user config files. And um, wants to make sure we're in our tutorial dir. We are, but we'll go ahead and um, copy that command anyway, just to be sure. And then we'll follow the example to just run met plus as is with no arguments. So we just ran run met plus, and running it with no arguments gives us our usage statement, which is what we would expect from a tool that we would run with no arguments. So this tells us. How to run the file? How to run Net Plus? And we specify our, our configuration file to use here, and um, we can override any options on the command line. So let's go ahead and give it an example config file, and see what happens when we try to run with this example config file. Oops. Okay. We get an error. And why do we have an error? We have an error here. Um, it's telling us that we did not set the output base. So it's not really sure where to write the output because it just contains path two. And so um, that is as we would expect. Um, We're getting the same output that we would expect here, saying that we need to set output base. So we had already looked here at the default config file, config file, and we noticed that output base was set to path two. And we know, as we discussed, that that's not actually a valid directory. Uh, so um, we have our own config file. We don't want to change it in the install location for everyone. We want to change it for ourselves. So let's take a look at our own tutorial config file that we have copied over for our own uh, setup. And if we look at that, we can see that it's actually set up here for us. It's going to put it in our environment and our MET plus tutorial there in the output subdirectory. But the reason why MET plus doesn't know that is because we didn't give it uh, the tutorial config file on the command line. We only passed to it the example config file. So MET plus didn't know anything about our output base at the time. So the next case we're going to run through is um, giving it that tutorial config file. Now, I will mention that the order does matter. So we're going to the order that you pass in the config files. So first, we're going to pass in the example config file. But then we're going to pass in the tutorial config file um, to override any options that are in this file with um, the tutorial config file. And that will override with the output base. OK, so we ran. And this time, we did get a successful run of MED+. Plus. And let's see, we have here, excuse me, and I'm, I apologize, my husband has a meeting at the same time, and we are um, unfortunately stuck in the same room at this time, which should not happen again. But I'm, I'm scrolling back up here through the output, and we can see here, um, let's take a look. 
we can see here that um, met plus ran with four different valid times. You can see here in the asterisk, there's one, two, three, four valid times. And it ran for each of those valid times for the three, six, nine, and 12 lead hours. And that is exactly what we expected as um, verified here. Um, five valid times processing four forecast hours for each valid time. Okay, so now we're going to, um, we want to pass in the example config file and the tutorial config file, and we're going to override the output base variable um, on the command line, which shows how you can override the, the variables that are in the config file um, with another value. So here we're going to go ahead and um, change the value of output base to an output changed directory. Okay. All right, I'll send you a text message. Why not? Okay, and so we can see here, if we look in the output change directory, we wanna make sure that we did get output in this new directory as we expected. Okay, and we did. So we can look in the log directory and see that there's our met plus log file as we expected. And if we look at the old one, we should just be able to remove changed. And it's um, the output file from, or the output log file from our earlier run. Um, and you can see in both directories, both in output and changed, we have a met plus final conf. And so um, that is the file that has a great deal of information for us um, if needed. And so that showed an example of how we could override the met plus variables on the command line. And that actually concludes our session for the day. Uh, the next one would be moving on to the met tool plot data plane, which we will be covering next week. Are there any questions or problems that people had in, in setting up? OK. Um, well, as always, please feel free to post to our GitHub discussions area with any questions or problems you have in getting set up, or, or not any problems. If you just have any questions about how things are working or what exactly is happening, please don't hesitate to post there. Let me get that, um, let me get that link and post it in here for you. Let's see, I have discussions up somewhere. Here we go. And so this is where you are forum, um, where you can get user support here if you do have any questions. Uh, if no one has any questions, I'm going to go ahead and stop presenting. And um, I don't know if the main session has concluded or not, but feel free to rejoin the main session if you have time and would like to. And thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. And Jenny, you can go ahead and stop recording if you are here. I don't know if I end the call, if it will stop recording on its own and save it or not. So I have one question. Um, oh, yes, go ahead. So next time when we are doing this uh, data plotting or something, we need to do all this step again, or it is just set in the store directory? Everything is set. Everything is set in the directory. The only thing you should need to do again is to source that file, the script that you copied over, so that your environment will be set up and ready to go. So you just have to go ahead and, and enter that directory and source the file, and you should be all set up for the next session. All right. OK, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Julia. The tutorial was great. Oh, thanks so much. And again, my apologies for going through too quickly. <laughs> but thanks for staying. Yeah, uh, it's me. a little bit quicker than people probably can accept it. But uh, uh, the the document was very clear and uh, step by step. That's very nice. Great. I'm so glad to hear that. That's thanks to George. So George, thanks for all your work on that. Yeah. Thanks, George. This is Guangping. Of course, no problem.